Hi, I'm Chef Mark. Welcome to LearnToCook.com. Today we're preparing a holiday eggnog that's lactose-free, has great flavor, no heavy cream, and the eggs actually cook, but it's chilled, delicious, and very flavorful. We're looking at a lactose-free and but tasty eggnog. No raw eggs, so great-grandma and the infant can also have some, minus the alcohol. But this is a great recipe to make. It requires cooking milk. I'm using soy milk today, so it's even uh, rich in calcium. Um, probably made up by the alcohol, though. There's some uh, rum, of course, in there. You can use rye if you want a lighter flavored eggnog. Brandy sometimes can be very strong, so a, a, a rye is good to use. Templeton rye is good, or any brand of rye or you can use some whiskey, you don't make it as strong and powerful. Sometimes the eggnog can be very astringent. So we're gonna take uh, four and a half cups of soy milk, just your basic soy milk that you see in the store. We're gonna put that into uh, a pot, a relatively heavy bottom pot. We're gonna add the uh, half a cup of sugar, granulated sugar, whisk that in the four and a half cups of soy milk. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch and a quarter teaspoon of salt because the, the salt sometimes, as you know in baking, balances out the, the very uh, sugary dish. And certainly a eggnog is sweet. So we whisk this together, the milk, the cornstarch, and the salt, whisk it well, and put it on the stove now. And now we're gonna put that mixture on medium-high heat to boil, come to a boil, and then simmer until it thickens. All right, so we're now gonna whisk up three whole eggs and three egg whites. And what's nice about this is the egg whites gives it a nice fluffy texture. And they're not as eggy. So we whisk those until they're a, a light bead texture. So now that we have our milk, sugar, cornstarch, and some salt in our heavy bottom pan, we brought it to a boil and let it simmer 30 seconds, which we have. And now we're gonna pour some of that mixture into those three beaten eggs, whole eggs, and three beaten egg whites. And we're gonna drizzle a little bit in, you know, because we're preparing a custard, if you've made a custard before. You know, you just wanna put a little bit of that hot heavy cream, in our case soy milk, into the eggs to, to uh, beat that together so it doesn't scramble. You wouldn't want to pour those eggs directly into a hot heavy cream or hot milk to make a custard. So that's the liaison process. We're tempering the eggs. So I'm going to pour in a little bit of time. The temperature came up on the eggs. It's warm. So now I can add the rest of the, of the simmering milk. And I'm gonna whisk that together. I just have this pan here so that it, it stabilizes the bowl for me. I whisk that, combine that very well. I'm gonna put this back onto the stove so we can cook our custard. Imagine making a custard with soy milk. Isn't that, isn't that great to have? Certainly uh, unique for learning to cook. We have many unique processes that you've seen before with the turkey now we have with this uh, lactose-free holiday eggnog. So back on the heat for a few moments. And if, as you cook any custard, you want it to come to a boil and simmer for 30 seconds. I just like to whisk it just to keep the spaces moving, though you can certainly use a spoon. Works just as nice. So let's come to a boil. We'll let it simmer for 30 seconds and stir constantly. We have a beautiful custard. So you're actually making a custard for this eggnog. Takes the place of the raw eggs and the heavy cream. When we stir that, turn off the heat now. Bring it over to our table. We're going to add the final ingredients. The other uh, cup and a half of soy milk, because we want it to have the texture that our eggnog is known for. We're going to add two tablespoons of milk extract, 
poured a teaspoon of nutmeg. A third a cup of rye or whiskey or rum. And we're going to stir that until it's all incorporated. It's smelling quite wonderful. And then we're just going to pour this into a bowl for it to chill. Just can keep, you know, two or three days since the eggs are cooked. So. Tastes wonderful, I do say so myself. Put this aside. And now we have our eggnog we poured into our serving vessel. A nice eggnog punch bowl. Also poured into a pitcher. You'd have guests serve themselves. Look how nice that is. Nice creamy texture. Let's see, it, it has the right amount of ingredients in it. Just a light touch of alcohol, not too harsh, not burning. It's beautiful, it's delicious. I know you're gonna enjoy this for the holiday season. Bon appetit and happy holidays.